How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor, and today I'm here to show you my team for the Battle of Hoenn competition. The Wi-Fi battles have begun today, but I'm going to post my battles live recorded later this weekend, so look out for that, but we're going to take a look at my Pokemon here first. I'm going to be joined by my friend Roseway in a little bit here, so look out for that as I do my Wi-Fi battles. Okay, so my first Pokemon here, as you can see, is a Mega Blaziken. The moves are High Jump, Kick, Fire Punch, Perkek, and Shadow Claw. If you look at it, it's a, a huge counter to Mega Glalie, if we end up uh, seeing one in the tournament. Um, yeah, Mega Glalie is there to check dragon types. And, of course, I am bringing a dragon type. So if I see a Glalie, you know what? I'm going to bring Mega Blaziken. Now, the reason I run Fire Punch over Fairbless is just because I don't really need all that recoil damage. And with Mega Blaziken's high attack stat, Fire Punch is going to be doing a lot of damage anyway. So that kind of fits there. And then Protect gets Speed Boost. After a plus one, I can outspeed mostly everything in the tier outside of Speed Boost Sharpedo or become passers like uh, Ninjask. So, I mean, I can outspeed maybe Mega Garvor and Mega Alakazam. And that's why I have Shadow Claw, because if I get a speed boost, I can outspeed Mega Garvor and KO it right back with a Shadow Claw, just because of experience I've had when facing those. And Alakazam might have a Focus Sash, and if it does, then a single Psychic Tech move is going to take me out. So I've got to be worried about that. And if that happens, I can bring in a different Pokemon to revenge kill with. Um, so that's Mega Alakazam, or Mega Blaziken. Mega Alakazam, you're going to be in huge trouble when you see a Shadow Claw coming your way. Unless you have a Focus Sash. Anyways, uh, moving on here. This is my second Mega, which is Mega Altaria. Now, the reason I run over Mega Altaria than um, Mega Mawals, well, I like... That huge power that Mawile gets when Mega Evolving. But we're going to see Mega Sableye a lot. So I figured, you know what, I like that huge power ability. I don't want to get burned and get rid of that. So I'm going to have Mega Altaria here, which is an okay choice. Because I can uh, dodge Dragon-type moves coming from Mega Salamence and Mega Lachios and Arios. And then hit them right back with a Moon Blast. And I have Fire Blast for coverage to hit Mawile. And I believe if it's a regular Mawile, I can one hit KO it with a Fire Blast. But if it's a Mega, then I doubt it because it gets a, a nice little bump to its special defense. I have Roost to get rid of the damage that Mega Altaria will be taking throughout the tournament. It's nice to have, so. We'll see how we do with Mega Altaria. Like I said, I'm going to be using um, Mawile, but not Mega because of Mega Sableye or regular Sableye with Pinster. So, with the threat of Will-O-Wisp, I'm not going to Mega Evolve Mega Mawile. Um, instead, I'm going to be carrying Lumberry. And that way I can get a free shot of going for a sword stance and then KO it right back with a sucker punch or play rough. Play rough would be a better option over Stapley there. And then Iron Head hit dragons. Um, now I will not be pairing up Altaria and Marwell on the same team because they have the same type with the form of fairy type there. So I will not use those in the same battle. Um, but you know what, it's going to be a, a fun time using Mawile here. Um, with with the Lumberry, it's going to uh, bypass the burn coming its way there, and then um, we'll hit it right back with the play rough. Now, the 
MVP of this tournament is going to probably be Gyarados, just because I have a good strategy for him, um, for this tournament at least. I have the Adamant Nature, Dragon Dancing, Focus Dash combo, so, um, what this means is, if I send in Scavian here, which is my Gyarados nickname, I can get a free Dragon Dance off, and then with the Focus Dash, I can guarantee you that I can live one hit, unless they go for Paralysis, in which case I could switch out expecting that. Um, we'll, we'll probably see that a couple of times in the tournament as I do these battles live. You'll get to see my reactions on to that, but Dragon Dance and Focus Sash is going to be a lot of fun. Um, my main stab moves are going to be Waterfall and, well, I guess Waterfall is the only stab move I have, but Waterfall is to hit Fire-type Pokemon and Rock-type Pokemon. I also have Earthquake to hit Electric-type Pokemon like Manetric and maybe Raichu. My next is going to go Mega and get the Antigone off, which I hope I get a chance to see that because this Mega game right now is so physically based that I have Antigone on my Gyarados instead of the regular Mossy ability. So that's kind of why I have Antigone there. And then Ice Fang to get a little bit of damage onto those Dragon type Pokemon that if I don't have, say I don't have Altaria or Mawal in my party, then I guess we'll have Ice Fang to take care of those things. Um, I have Cryoly here, which is going to be in my wall. Now, um, a lot of people will not be using Cryoly, which I find interesting to me. Um, I gotta be careful of Ice-type moves again, coming from Mega Glalie, but that's kind of why I brought Blaziken to take care of that. It's a good counter. Um, but the moves I have are Stealth Hawk, Confuse Ray, Ancient Power, and Giga Drain. Now, going for Stealth Hawk is going to be kind of nice because we're going to see a plethora of flying type Pokemon ranging from Ninjas, Swallow, Crobat, and a lot of other flying type Pokemon. So if we can lay down Stealth Hawks, chances are we're going to get rid of some of their HP and then we can hit them right back with an Ancient Power. Now, this is defensive, so I'm not expecting I could do a whole lot of damage to those and, uh, yeah, and I also have Confuse Ray, just for situations where if a Pokemon goes for a Sword Dance or Dragon Dance or Belly Drum coming from an Azumarill, well, we can go for Confuse Ray and hopefully we can have them hit themselves in confusion. Why do I find that so entertaining? I don't know. But that could be a very fun niche there. And Giga Drain is there to hit Slowbro. Maybe, yeah, Mega Slowbro is going to be a pain in the butt in this tournament. Thankfully, it's not that defensive on the special side of things. So I kind of expect Giga, Giga Drain to do a whole lot, so. I also have it with Magus Nature and, um, with Leftovers. Last but not least, we have Absol here. Now, I'm not expecting Absol to do a whole lot. Um, I don't have that many Pokemon bred. In the Hoenn decks, a lot of Pokemon came from like Black and White 2 and Black and White games. But I just bought Absol just for the heck of it. I don't really see Absol doing a whole lot. And it's too bad I don't have uh, Sucker Punch. But I have that on Mawal. Man, I wish I had that. Because I could probably one hit KO a Lachios or a Yos with a Sucker the sucker, 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 sucker punch. Sucker punch. Yeah, sucker for you, sucker for them. I don't know. The sucker punch is going to do a good chunk, but I have Night Slash instead. So, um, I mean, I don't expect Absol to do a lot, but you know what? We'll try it. We'll try it. I have a Lumber or Life Orb instead. Um, Life Orb to get a little bit of extra damage. I also have Super Luck. To raise the critical hit ratio there. Alright you guys, so that is going to be it for my analysis video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me some feedback. And I will have my live battle videos up tomorrow with my friend Ruins Ray, as he'll be commentating as I do my battles, like I said in earlier in the video. But um, yeah, I'll have battles for tomorrow and Sunday, so be on the lookout for that. If you're participating in the tournament, best of luck to you all there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, you guys have a great day. I'll see you then. Bye now.